Welcome to the State of Ohio Open Enrollment. Today we're going to take some time to tell you about some coverage area changes affecting employees in Columbus and Toledo and also introduce a new benefit plan option. We'll lay out the plan option side by side and give you some things to consider um, when making that decision on which plan is right for you. After I've introduced the new plan, we'll discuss some healthcare basics and, and how you can work with your doctor to make the best possible decision to keep your, your costs low. Lastly, I'll close out with online and mobile tools available through Medical Mutual um, to, to help you be that smart consumer of your health care. So first, the coverage area. As a result of the most recent RFP, the state of Ohio has chosen two third-party administrators, Medical Mutual and Anthem. Medical Mutual will continue to service the Cleveland-Akron region. Effective July 1, we will also do Columbus and Toledo. So current Aetna members will be coming to Medical Mutual as of 7-1. Effective July 1, you will have two benefit plan options to choose from, an Ohio Med PPO and the Ohio Med High Deductible Health Plan. The PPO plan is going to remain as it is today. You're familiar with it. It has co-pays for doctor's visits, prescriptions. Because of the lower deductible, you're going to pay a higher monthly contribution than you will for the High Deductible Health Plan because the state of Ohio is taking on the bulk of your insurance costs. After meeting your deductible, services will be covered in full or with coinsurance. The second plan, Ohio Med High Deductible Health Plan, is just that you will have a higher deductible. And because of that higher deductible, because you're taking on more of your health care costs, you will have a lower monthly contribution than you will with the PPO. With the high deductible health plan, there are no co-pays for office visits, ERs, or prescription drug. Everything will go towards that deductible except for preventive services. Those will continue to pay at 100% as they do today. To help you plan and pay for the higher deductible, it allows you to open a health savings account that's an account that's specifically for healthcare expenses. You contribute to it through pre-tax payroll deduction. The state of Ohio is going to contribute $1,000 for a single plan and a $2,000 for a family plan towards your HSA. Those dollars will be distributed sometime in July and again in January. Some things to consider when choosing which plan is right for you. The PPO plan might be right for members who like to know upfront what their costs are. That would be for your doctor's visits, your prescriptions, if you like knowing what that cost is upfront. Someone with a chronic condition or needs to see the doctor frequently might enjoy knowing those upfront costs. If you know you'll be having a high cost service, the lower deductible might be attractive to you or somebody who takes multiple prescriptions or even a high cost drug, the PPO might be a better fit with that lower deductible. The Ohio Med high deductible health plan would be right for somebody who rarely gets sick or doesn't use a lot of prescription drugs. If you only use mostly preventive care services at 100%, the high deductible might be right for you. The thing to consider with the high deductible health plan would be your budget. If your budget allows you to pay for that higher deductible uh, in the case of a catastrophic event, or if your budget allows you to contribute to the HSA in addition to your monthly contribution, that might be the right plan for you as well. More things to consider, just a side-by-side. -side. Both plans will cover preventive care, including well-child care, at 100%. No change there. 
Both plans will give you access to the SuperMed network, same network of providers, doctors, hospitals. The PPO plan, you could consider the, the copay plan. That's going to be your prescription drugs, your office, your ER visits. The high deductible health plan, prescription drug costs will apply towards that deductible. There will no longer be copays for the prescription drug costs. The high deductible health plan also allows you to get that employer contribution, which you can save for future health care needs if you're, if you're healthy and you're not using the benefits. Consider your budget. If you are able to pay the higher monthly contribution um, for, the, for the lower deductible or whether you pay the lower monthly contribution for a higher deductible. So consider your budget. A quick look into the benefits themselves. These are in-network services. The Ohio Med PPO benefits are going to remain as is. No change in deductible, 250 single, 500 family. The office visit copays will remain intact, no change. With the Ohio Med deductible, high deductible health plan, $2,000 single, $4,000 family. And again, those copays disappear and services become 80% after deductible. And again, that deductible includes your prescription costs. Little more in-depth comparison you can see that not many of the benefits are going to pay differently. Your preventive care and your well child will continue to be 100% under both plans. Most of the benefits are going to continue to be 80% after deductible, so there's no change in how the benefits themselves pay. It's just that deductible that will be the difference. There is a new telehealth services benefit available to both plans, and again, like office visit copays, the PPO will have a $10 copay, and the high deductible health plan will go towards that deductible and pay 80% afterwards. So we all use these, these terms when discussing your health insurance, but with the addition of the high deductible health plan, some of these are going to take on new importance. The contribution is your monthly contribution out of your paycheck. That's the cost you pay to have your health care. Your deductible is that set amount every year that you pay before the health plan kicks in their portion. The coinsurance is just that. It's your share of the cost. You and the health, health plan are sharing in that cost. It's that percentage, 80% paid by the health plan, 20% paid by you. Your co-payments are those flat dollar amounts that you pay for services at the time of service. And then you have an out-of-pocket maximum. That's the most you'll pay for covered services in a plan year. While the deductible applies to your out-of-pocket maximum, it's important to note that the copay does not apply to the deductible. So what charges are you responsible for? Both plans are going to have an annual deductible and that 80% coinsurance. The PPO, again, is going to have those copay services. You will also be responsible for any non-covered services that are not paid by insurance, and those do not go towards your deductible or out of pocket for either plan. You may also be charged more for services if you use a non-network doctor. They can balance bill you the difference between what they charge and what Medical Mutual would pay. And that, again, does not accumulate towards deductibles or out-of-pocket maxes. So what can you do to keep your costs low? Know if procedures and surgeries are covered you can use your medical plan description or your benefit book posted on our website. Speak with your doctor. Get the specific codes for the, for the services you plan to receive. Call customer service on your ID card from the number on your ID card. They can tell you not only if the service is covered, 
but can give you an idea of how much the service should cost. We also have on my health plan our member portal, a My Care Compare. It's a cost comparison tool, and I'll discuss that later. That will give you an idea of what your, your services would cost. It's a great idea to work with a PCP. If you do not have a PCP, um, that's important to get. It's not required for your health plan, but a PCP would be able to oversee your health. They would be able to work with your specialists to make sure the service you're receiving are medically necessary. They may be able to suggest cheaper alternatives. They'd also be able to make sure that tests aren't being repeated unnecessarily. All of that would keep your costs low. So tips for talking to your PCP. Write down your questions before your appointment. Appointments generally go quickly. Put your most urgent questions first. Ask questions. If they suggest a test, ask if there's an alternative. Make sure it's something that you really do need. If there's a generic medication available for a prescription they, they are prescribing. If they are suggesting lab work, make sure the lab is network that they plan on using. If not, request a prescription for the lab work as well, and you can go to an independent lab to keep your costs low. Another important way to keep your costs low is to know where to get the care you need. Nurse Line is a great first step. It's a toll-free, 24-7 access to registered nurses. You're, you're familiar with it today. Effective July 1, the Nurse Line will be available through your health plan instead of through share care. Telehealth services, again, through Life Health Online. 24-7 access to board-certified physician. Has that low dollar copay for the PPO plan. Convenience clinic is also a great alternative. Those are your CVS clinics, your Kroger clinics. They're great for minor injuries or illnesses they can prescribe. It's important, however, to check the network before. Not all convenience clinics are in the network. And then another is urgent care. It's a great alternative to the ER. A lot of urgent cares can set broken bones. A lot of urgent cares can take x-rays. You may not need the ER for that. It's also important to check that the urgent care is in your network as well. So how do you find a provider? Visit our website, stateofohio.medmutual.com. The provider search is available to you there. We also have your benefit information. Inside the state of Ohio, you will search the SuperMed Network, otherwise known as the Ohio Med Network. For services received outside of the state of Ohio, whether you live outside of the state of Ohio or you are traveling, you would use the Aetna Open Choice Network. That is a network that we have partnered with to bring you access outside of our network. You can search online for those providers as well through the same provider search, or you can call the phone number on the back of the ID card. The SuperMed area, again, covers all 88 counties in Ohio. Um, we do have some of the larger national labs, DME companies within our network, LabCorp, the Little Clinic, Quest. Those are, those are things used most often. So finally, online and mobile tools. We have a specific website dedicated to your benefit plan. And again here, you can access your provider search tool. Your benefit plan information will be available. There's also information on specific discount programs offered from Medical Mutual. And most importantly, you can register and or access our online member portal, My Health Plan. Through My Health Plan, you can track your expenses. It will keep track of your deductibles and your coinsurance by member. You can track your claims. You can see if claims have been submitted. If they've been submitted, you can see if they've been paid or rejected. 
you have the option to print or download EOBs, and you have access to important plan information. Your benefit book, you can access a temporary ID card. You can even request an ID card be mailed to you. We also have a mobile app. Our mobile app allows you to do everything you can do on My Health Plan. The provider search is a great tool to use on the mobile app. Um, it will use your GPS location if you are out and about and you need an urgent care. It'll pull it up using your GPS, so that, that's a great feature to have at your fingertips. But you can track your claims and expenses, pull up your ID card. Everything you can do on My Health Plan is available through the mobile app. And finally, MyCare Compare. This is the cost comparison tool I mentioned earlier. We have over 220 treatments and procedures available with estimates. Anything from an MRI and CT, lab work, therapies, hip and knee joint replacements. You can, you can compare up to four providers at a time. Gives you both at a glance, estimates, and a breakdown. It also gives you quality ratings for those providers and patient satisfaction ratings. 